You're watching Soulful Discussions. All right, so hi, how are you doing today? Hi, doing good, thank how, you. How did you and I meet today? I was sitting in my car. Absolutely. Um, I, was, I just came out from a little service, Sunday service okay. at church. Okay, okay. And I was reading my Bible. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then you approached me, and then you asked me to do an interview. Yep. And So, okay. Like, it was just more of like, and then you explained what, what we're was talking for, about. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So I think I can contribute. Okay. Sweet. Appreciate <laughs> yeah, that. Thank you. So I did approach you about three topics we want to talk about. Do you remember what those topics were? Uh, mental health, reflexology, and women. Feet. Feet. Your, your thoughts about the subject of feet. So feet. Okay. these three topics are going to combine. I'll show you how, like, as the interview goes along. Okay, uh, yeah. But first, when you hear the word feet, what do you think about? So I think about. In my life. And be honest. Yeah. Be honest about well, whatever it I'm is. I'm actually a yoga instructor. Ah, so, interesting. Uh, yeah, actually, I know reflexology, actually. <laughs> it comes I, to mind. There it is. Now <laughs> yeah, I there you. it is. There right. it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, so grounding. Grounding. A lot of, um, in my personal practice. Yep. Um, being able to be aware of, yep. like, your um, different, I guess, points. Points in your body. Yeah, yep, absolutely. yeah. And I actually. Uh, called yin yoga. Ah. Yeah, and it focuses on feet. <laughs> That's really dope. Yeah, That's yeah. Really dope. Cool. Contrary to the yang, which is a more like um, more active practice. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. that's, really, that's really dope. I'm glad that we ran into each other yeah. today then. Um, so today we're going to ask some questions about feet. It'll be your thoughts, how you feel about it. Just feel free to answer however you like when I ask those questions, okay? okay. Um, what about mental health? When you hear the term mental health, do you think about anything specific? Okay. And the mental health of, you know, the people that I um, surround myself with. Oh, okay. And also the, um, it's like, it's a topic that is a little taboo, I feel, for a lot of yeah. um, people. But I, I consider myself someone that does guide people through, like, a practice. Um, and with the teachings that I've learned in my personal practice, in my um, life, yeah. uh, the good things, I love to it to a space where um, people feel safe and people feel like they can be open um, in a space that is is like safe you know i love that so, i love yeah. that that's really dope today we're going to talk a little bit about social media the impacts it can have on like depression and anxiety so just ask those questions you just answer however you okay. like okay and lastly reflexology at first you said what is reflexology it yeah. came back to you as you started talking about right. yoga <laughs> So I'm right, going to give right. you a little bit of that information and you can just tell me if your experiences with the uh, reflexology have kind of been along those lines or like what your thoughts are about the information I'm providing. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Okay, cool. Let's start with the first question. What are your thoughts about how the world is starting to become more aware of mental health and like what we're doing about it? How do you feel about that? I think it's a very good thing that, um, especially if you're in a, in a craft or in a profession mm -hmm. that you um, have to be like present. Yeah. You have to be present and you have to pay attention. Um, and sometimes people struggle with um, doing the task at hand due to mental health. I see. Um, and the fact that it's being able, like, it's, um, there's like a lot of awareness now, especially yeah. like in schools. I think that it's great because someone that's, you know, struggling, yeah. you know, trying to keep up with. Everyone pretty much gets the memo, I feel like that I was one of those people. That yeah. Everyone got the memo of how like how to do life. You know? mm. And some people, um, including myself, kind of struggle with that. And I feel like I struggled with um, with certain things that like I haven't been able to, you know, complete things on time. I procrastinate, mm. you know. So being able to identify those things yeah. and get help. Yep. Or, um, you know, just like something like a hobby, like surfing, yoga, yoga swimming. Yeah, absolutely. They all contribute to like, uh, like mental health. Absolutely so, helping you with that. Yeah, absolutely. So the awareness is very, very needed in the world. Absolutely. And these are things that like, you know, if we look back in time, right? 
weren't something that was like a, a norm where it's become more of a norm people are more comfortable talking about it and like you said there's way more uh ways to like kind of go about like dealing with it as opposed to in the past where it was like shock therapy and lobotomies and like you know very you yeah. know archaic and you know barbaric like type practices so it's really dope to see where we've come um in terms of social media um first of all like what are your thoughts about it and then how do you yourself use social media currently um i am using my social media to promote my business Dope. um but once i started to get on that journey yeah um i started to be a bit more a bit aware of my habits ah. social media um and for me personally i now that's my focus but uh -huh. it's affected me personally mm. um in um like a i'll give an example like uh -huh. say i'm feeling some type of way which kind of ties into like mental yeah. mental health um and i want some attention you know i'm needed ah, to fill I see in that saying. little hole you yeah. know or something that <laughs> i want somebody to I be need, able to yeah know? yeah and i think by showing that like expressing yourself yeah. and but it's not like it's not like um like something that oh you want to do like, yeah, yeah, yeah you know it's something maybe like that you need and then fulfilling that need is like yeah. oh everyone's like watching Absolutely. everyone's liking um i don't like that <laughs> yeah so you've been paying attention more to yeah, that now more attention That's to my dope. habits because um maybe there's something else i could do like maybe i just need maybe i'm hungry yeah or maybe like i just need to go out and like put my feet on some grass you know or eat some, some sand or stuff, something yeah you know? absolutely yeah to feel a little bit more grounded okay um so that's uh so my take on that i actually listened to re something really um interesting on, on, a, on a podcast okay which i'll reference like a gabby reese um podcast i don't remember exactly who what she was interviewing yeah but, um he had this uh, like uh, idea that him and his wife of um, just solely, which I like always reference mm -hmm. when they were raising their daughter of um, being able because of like the ideas that you start developing the, the oh, view of the yeah, world yeah, yeah. Um, for their child, and they live like very remotely. Mm -hmm. um, they had her listen to plot to, uh, to stories, not watching like TV, but listening to stories. So that really like kind of got me like thinking of yeah wow like that's very important and like the fact that someone's thinking about that exactly and having that in their perspective huh. you know and like not really well actually it's more of like a good tool you know because yeah. to guide a, a little person into absolutely life, you know? and not to getting like, into yeah. all this stuff yeah yeah so I thought it was really interesting young age like you start developing ideas 100 um, percent familiarity um, understanding that's when you're the most impressionable you. like as you start to get to those certain ages yeah, absolutely of course and that that kind of got my mind working and ah. just kind of like oh like so a lot of because of that i started kind of to detach from tactile things and then i started to kind of the friendships and the people that i surround myself mm. with i started kind of good friend you know? yeah and listening and, you know like so yeah. things like that started kind of popping up in my life oh, okay. um so i you know like social media is great yeah um the fact the fact that you're just posting something with mm -hmm. an intention has a lot to do i think with um where you are in life what your intentions you know it's like yeah. it's, it's very intertwined yeah and i think that it could be a benefit Absolutely. So I, Absolutely. I think that's my, that's my opinion. Okay. It. Okay. Um, but it's great to be able to connect with someone so fast. Okay. You know, you know, if, yeah, that's actually really dope. That's the good part about it, right? Yeah, common interest. Exactly. Like People finding groups and things like that. People that's from dope. like other parts of the world. Exactly. Like one common topic. Hey. That's amazing. So dope. So yeah. dope. Um, kind of a follow-up question to what I just asked. Um, let's say somebody came to you and they were like, hey, I'm going to give you the power to change something about social media, right? Is there anything you would change? Do you feel like it's fine the way it is? What's your thought process there? Hmm. Um, I think that um, I think that 
that it's a great mm -hmm. um, place of like freedom and of expression. Yeah, kind of like what you were just mentioning about yeah. it being like. Um, there is certain things. Um, I think it should be more monitored. Um, okay. Like. Talking about like age wise like age and like wise. they're yeah. like cyber bullying and things like that. Well, every, I feel like that is a freedom of expression. Okay. But like, like I don't know, just like a like a little timeout. Okay. <laughs> or something like. <laughs> we're gonna like, deactivate your account for like, you know. Like, yeah. We're like, yeah, like, like you could only be on it for like maybe like an hour or something. You, like, well, you know I that they have settings just, for that, right? Okay. They actually have settings you can go on and like uh literally like it'll cut off for you at a certain time yeah. whatever time you choose yeah That's my girlfriend just started doing that uh with tiktok so like because okay. she's she'll stay on tiktok forever so she started putting it down to like nine o'clock and immediately like locks her out of it yeah Interesting. yeah so yeah those are there absolutely yeah oh that's mm -hmm. pretty cool yeah other than that i think it's it's great it's for, cool the way it is um, yeah. people that get ideas yeah people to like connect yeah 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 um, for people to you know find something new to do absolutely you know so it's it's great um, mm -hmm. but i think we we as a world uh, yeah like, and I, I feel like i've seen this a lot where um, you put it first you know like mm. you know you, you're just like it's addicting and i can you know you're just like just on keep it. going <laughs> just keep yeah going. i just keep going i keep going yeah um but other than that I, th I think it's a great platform it's a great way to connect Absolutely. Everyone. Absolutely. You know? Cool. Um, in terms of anxiety, right? And you don't have to go too in depth with this question, but maybe just more of a surface level answer. Is there anything that brings you anxiety? And if so, when you feel anxiety happening, what are some things you do to like counteract or like kind of cope with like what you're feeling in the moment? Yeah. Um, I'm a big believer in birth control. Uh-huh. I and, love that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I actually, in my personal practice, I practice this, but I also breath control mm. um, i'm a swim instructor as well ah. and a yoga instructor and okay. coach so um pretty much your breath takes you throughout your day the ability and the power for you to control your breath and regulate like like control your nervous system really and 100 you know and um like your heart rate is and i, I actually shared this with you last week with one of my students yeah. like if you were in I was coaching, but I was uh -huh. just, you know, sharing that, you know, if you're in a stressful situation, this is something you can do. Use your belly, belly breath, you know, uh, and then the, the, the focus of being able to um, not breathe with your chest, but like belly, you know, using your diaphragm, like yeah. those powerful tools you have in your body. Absolutely. And, the, and the funny thing is a lot of times people don't breathe from down here. They're breathing from just like right chest, up in here. Yeah. And that's like so important, kind of what you just mentioned. That's really dope. Thank you for mentioning that. Um, cool. In terms of the next question, like, uh, I'm intrigued to get your thoughts about how you're going to feel about this question. Okay. Uh, what are your thoughts about your feet? How do you feel about your feet? You know, I grew up with feet problems. Okay. Like, my whole life. And I was an athlete. Okay. My father, um, my late father, he uh -huh. um, always was, a, like, able, like, you have this. Okay, let's, let's, let's find out how we can. Oh, ah, okay. So, I have have a little bunny okay and i grew up like having a lot of like like i had grown ingrown toenails a lot and then i had a um, little bunny that i think i i inherited from my grandma oh my interesting <laughs> this, you're like a third person has told me about like like inheriting that from like yeah. family members that's really interesting yeah so throughout my childhood i would have like these like um prosthetic like these like me handmade like like molded feet Ah, plants yeah, 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 yeah. That um, we would like, they were so expensive. And, yeah, like, my you're talking about like orthotics, was, right? The ones yeah, that get made. Yeah, orthotics. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, it was like molded to my feet. I would wear them all the time. It made me feel way better and um, comfortable in my my shoes. But like growing up, I never like I was a swimmer. Mm -hmm. But like when shoes i was never confident oh you're like feet. i'm covering my i was never confident yeah. until at like i maybe like was like 25 or like mm. like uh, i'm 32 now okay. and, like time went by and i started to kind of like be comfortable with yeah, that. yeah yeah but that's a really interesting question yeah you're like yeah interesting like i used yeah. to feel like this i'm glad yeah. that you gave us that insight yeah. let me ask you this 
Has anybody ever complimented you on your feet before? Anybody ever said to you, hey, I think you have nice feet? Did that ever happened to you? No. Okay. No. Let's just say you were wearing sandals and somebody did. In that moment, what would your thoughts be? What would your feelings be? How would you feel about that? <laughs> so you would question it a little bit like mm, yeah like, like are you sure I think that, like in, like that kind of um insecurity is still there. i see like it's I like see. there yeah and, yeah yeah um, but slowly like i'm able to like kind of own it you know because yeah, like, i mean you do yoga now so i'm imagining yeah, like i'm always barefoot that's what i'm saying yeah. so y'all imagine that you're not in there like with shoes on or anything no, like yeah. that yeah Cause like you're teaching your students like the importance of grounding and stuff and right on. yeah right absolutely on. um in terms of like compliments you receive right from men and women is there a certain group that you prefer to receive compliments from in general yeah just any compliment do you prefer to receive them from men or women women okay yeah. is there a reason why i think because in my past experiences uh -huh. um, I've been in weird situations. Yeah. Like the 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 feedback hasn't been like that like ah, from men. Um, I see. Yeah. So and women strengthening women, and I, I'm just like at that point in my life where I'm feel surrounding it. more myself with more women. That, that more positivity and yeah. like empowering each other. Yeah. Definitely understand and that. And I, I feel like it's like comforting, mm -hmm. but I can also be taking it like different ways. Like, yeah. And it's all who I am yeah, yeah yeah um, but I think that that's like yeah. you said it's it's who you are and I don't think you should feel any kind of way about that if that's if that's what you prefer that's what you prefer like right absolutely right on yeah. uh, in terms of compliments you receive right and we're talking about all compliments is there a certain compliment that when somebody gives you that compliment you're like man that really makes my day it really makes me feel good any anything like that for you um, like does it have to be like yeah so like for me for example right um i feel like a lot of times at work like i put in a lot of effort to like make sure that things like go correctly so that when somebody notices like the hard work that i'm putting in like behind the scenes not necessarily things that might be you know visible to the like you know the eye like i appreciate that because i'm okay. like i really put in a lot of work to get that done so yeah. anything like that for you for me currently in this point of my life yeah. um i feel complimented on uh -huh. like being supportive for someone like uh say we just finished the two teacher training okay and like all of these women and men that like graduated they're like teaching and then i'll go support their classes ah uh, i see and then like i show up and there's been a couple times when like um certain people have been like you're like you know we can always count on you you're always like supporting you're, uh, all, the, all, you're all always like the cheerleader that's dope and i've been like kind of embracing that a little more, yeah um because i'm going into a a time in my life where i'm gonna do like i'm gonna start my own uh, yoga mm. like little classes and i have get the balling ball rolling on that and um not that like i'll have those people but like those people are coming into my life supporting me yeah and like me supporting and um being able to be there and show up for them People are now showing up for me and, and that feels amazing that reciprocation first, right <laughs> yeah at first i felt kind of like imposter syndrome like where, oh i see you know where like this this like they're showing up they're showing up you know but mm -hmm. like i just have to trust the process trust the process man and, that's right um not take things anything like 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 just just take things take them and yeah then, you know and, and if, if if they're not meant for me then like it or feel weird you can always like, let it go just let it go yeah so, <laughs> as simple as that yeah, that's really dope yeah so you know like rewiring the brain you know, that's that's really important growth. yeah that's definitely yeah. important um yeah. in terms of uh pedicures how often do you get pedicures i haven't gotten a pedicure probably in a year okay i'm always like, like on the go on the go but i do get my nails done okay my, my so you get your nails done, but you're like, why you're in that moment? You're like, well, I don't have time for that. Too. Well, honestly, like, does it have anything to do with the yoga? Because you kind of do that, and you're like moving see, around this is a funny. lot. My mom, she's always like, let's go get our like, let's go get a pedicure, let's uh -huh. go get our nails done. And I'm so busy, and I, I feel like I put my my nails in 
Your nail, because that's something that people favorite. see like first, right? Well, I don't really, yeah, I do it for aesthetic. But yeah. For my feet, like I'm always like, especially in the summertime, like I burn the bottom of my feet usually because uh -huh. of the hot sun. Uh -huh. And like I like the callus. Exactly. I do. Helps with like gripping and things yeah, like that, right? Yeah. Um, when I was rock climbing, it helped a lot. Um, when I'm um, like, I love it because it's like it helps me through the summer like because i i run in the summer mm. and like and I, I run on sand or okay. like you know it's like i like the functionality of having like and like i like i like people touching my feet but uh -huh. like like to do the pedicure but yeah. i'm it's like my go-to because i feel like i just are you ticklish very no, like sensitive it's more, no it's more, more of like i don't even pay attention i pay attention ah uh, like, i see what you're I saying i take care of my feet like hey. uh, you know like <laughs> I take care of them at home. Yeah. Like, like, and then, like, I like the no nail polish on the feet. Uh, okay. Like, I don't know. I and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Like, some people like the natural. But what about just going to get clear coats? That's still almost That's like a true. natural thing, right? But you can yeah. go get your little spa thing. You can kind of, like, relax and, you know, because to me, that's what the pedicure is more about. It's like kind of like being yeah. in a relaxed full state and letting somebody else take yeah. care of you, right? Because yeah. those people have jobs, man. That's how we continue to, like, That's make sure true. that they have jobs. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, um, in terms of pedicures, you ever heard of medical pedicures before? I haven't. Okay. Well, and it's kind of like oh, what you mentioned earlier cool. about orthotics, right? Okay. So, there's people you can go to, uh, podiatrists, specialists of the feet. Um, they take a look at your feet to make sure, like, your toenails grow correctly. They check for, like, your toe alignment to make sure it's right. Mm -hmm. um, they check your feet for, like, dead skin, fungus. Do all the work there with, like, medical-grade equipment, right? It can even give you insight to, like you said, orthotics and things like that that you may need specially made for your feet. What would your thoughts be on seeing somebody like that who could give you like insight into like what's happening with your feet, like kind of like let you know things you should do or what you shouldn't do? Yes, that's that, that would, would be, be something. Yeah, definitely, because <laughs> I used to run a lot. I don't run as much anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I used to do triathlons. I used to run. Wow. Like, I, I've done a half. Iron marathon Woman, right before. here. <laughs> yeah, and that's like part of like the like. I, because I started kind of to see like yoga was like kind of more restorative for my body. Yeah. Um, because the impact of, and I also teach a deep water, mm. low impact, no impact recovery mm. class um, also. And honestly, like that, that would be a great tool. And, and it may yeah. be something that maybe you could take your mom with you and yeah. that could be an experience for both of you. Maybe, you know, something that you can enjoy and kind of get more insight into like what's happening. Well, the shoes that I buy for running, yeah. I go somewhere specifically for them uh, to see how I run. Yeah. Where I'm putting pressure. I've heard of those, yeah. Um, but I also, um, my, my, my yoga practice also is emphasize, emphasizes on strengthening the spine. So, really important. So very important. Core so, area, yeah. Yeah, all that is intertwined and like all of those tools coach mm -hmm. for example he brought like that like tool to me and mm. like to all of us and now that i'm older i'm still going to make sure that the right uh, shoe is like that i'm wearing the right shoes when i'm running that's really dope yeah that's really dope yeah um in terms of like shoes i think you kind of mentioned it a little bit along the way but i want to ask anyway uh, how often you were open to shoes sandals and flip-flops things like that um i wear them every day okay. although um, I love my Doc Martens. Like, that's all I wear. I mean, a lot of women like, would like, I love my Docs. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I have two pairs. One of them was, was like, kind of like, I don't know. I have two pairs of Docs. And I have two pairs. One of them was, was like, kind of like, like it, it looks like vintage-y. Like, mm. And like, I love the look. The yeah. style of like, what, what that shoe has gone yes. through. Yes. Because it gives it a personality. Yeah, yeah. You know? um, wear it with a nice pair of jeans. Yeah. And like, yeah. I definitely but get that's you. when I like, put jeans on or Go yeah, out, yeah. You know, like I just went to church. But yeah. um, other than that, I'm like either barefoot. Yeah. Um, or like sandals. some type of flip flops or sandals. Yeah. Absolutely. So until I put these on, like to yeah. go out, like, and I coach with these too. Mm. But um, I, even to go like grab my car sometimes, yeah. I, I'm barefoot because I know the importance of like that grounding and everything. Grounding. That's really dope. Yeah, That's really especially dope. in the morning. <laughs> exactly yeah. and so that was my next question how often you go barefoot but you've already kind of mentioned it to us you're a yoga instructor so you do it quite frequently i do absolutely I absolutely do. um okay so now can we see what your feet look like sure 
All right, cool. What size shoe do you wear? I wear six. Size, size six. six. Does it vary? Oh, leave your uh, socks on for now. Okay, leave your okay. socks on. See so how you take both shoes off, and what I'm how you do is put your feet down flat right here. So size six, and does it vary? Like if you're wearing sandals, if you're not wearing sandals, or if you're wearing heels, or like it's your like dogs. Six, six and a half. But so like, those it, come in whole sizes. Okay, so it goes kind of up and yeah. down depending on that. Okay, yeah. cool. Let me get you extend your feet out straight like this. Yeah. All right. Cool. And then you, I see you have a nice little arch here. Like from here, I can tell that. I have a very you, big you, arch. You do any <laughs> dancing or anything like that? I used to dance. I used to be synchronized swimmer, um, but I grew up dancing. Okay, yeah. and so that's pretty much what it's from doing being on point a lot, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I have a high arch. I've met people with no arch. I, so and it's interesting because um, I had a lady who came back on my channel um, yesterday. I took her to get a pedicure, and like when we were looking at her feet, she's I was like, "You have a nice arch," and she said, "I don't have an arch at all." And she was like, she put her feet in her her, her um, sandals, and she was like, "See, there's like no arch here." And I was like, "No, it looks like you have an arch." I don't, I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, have you take your socks off now? Okay. And then you said that you've been keeping them natural. Okay. Put them yeah. down flat. Okay. And I can see what you're saying, like you have a slight little like bunion there, oh, but it's not that bunion. bad. You have really nice feet. And Thank I can tell you. you take care of them. Your nails Thank are like you. really healthy and clean. Can you like kind of move up just a little bit more so I can get a like right in camera view? That's really dope. I think you have really nice feet. Cool. And then you put your feet out straight again like this. Okay. And like, yeah, we can see that arch there. Yeah, like, arch. like you said, really high. All right. Yeah. So let me ask you this. How, how are you feeling? We met, what's it been? 25 minutes we've been talking and asking questions now we're looking at your feet how are you feeling in this moment i'm feeling good you're feeling I, good yeah okay i'm feeling like i'm connected with you in a very like and i don't think anything's like coincidence never honest, never the timing and the, the the fact that we just met um and we just had a great conversation with yeah you. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Let me give you some insight and then leave your feet up. We're going to go through yeah. a couple more exercises, but I want to give you some insight into like what got me started with my channel. Well, like why did I start it? Right. So during quarantine, right. I was like at home. I just got furloughed. I was watching YouTube and I was watching a guy's channel. He was talking about exposure therapy. You familiar with that? No. Okay. So exposure therapy is for, let's say like you have a phobia or you're like in certain scenarios, you're like uncomfortable, right? What therapists would tell you to do is like go out and do that. Like, let's say, for example, I'm afraid of like roller coasters. So I go to theme parks, I walk around, never get on no roller coasters because I feel a little frightened, right? They'll tell you to go out and do it, do it over and over again, right? The more that you do it, you'll learn to become like comfortable. You're never fully gonna get over it, but you'll learn to start to think about like, okay, what's really happening in this moment? You focus more on like what's happening right now. And if there's nothing that's like, threatening your life for safety then like what are you worried about like what's really like causing you to like not move forward and so when i heard that i was like in my life i've always overthought things i was i was like you know do i go to the movies do i not go to the movies and then before you know it it's like 11 o'clock and you're like well i guess i'm not going out because the decision's been made for me right and so i was like i, I want to get better at you know making snap decisions in certain situations because not every situation requires me to like overthink it so Basically what I wanted to do is like start a YouTube channel. Cause like with a lot of women who have become like, they've gotten into foot modeling now, like that's a thing. And it's like, what would happen if I just go up and approach like women who I just meet, right? See if they can be comfortable, practice some exposure therapy. Let's talk about some mental health, let's talk about some reflexology and let's see how the conversation goes. And so I get different types of reactions. I get some women who are like completely open like yourself and they're just like, yeah, sure, cool, no worries. And some women will start to overthink it and they become insecure or whatever it may be. And then some women are like, nah, I'm good. But the whole point is to show those reactions on my channel so that people can learn to become more comfortable with the subject and not and not feel like it's like a weird thing or anything like that. So my channel is all about trying to create positivity around the subject of feet and reflexology and just like kind of educating people on some of those things. Okay. What are your thoughts about that? How do you feel about it? I think it's uh, incredible that you are you're able to like come out of your shell. Yeah. And that really ties into Yep. how we react but it all starts in really our thoughts yes. um, you're, you, you have these, these thoughts and then you'll react and then that's an action exactly. 
Exactly. And there's a reaction to that action. Yep. But then when you think of it, really, that's like the destiny. Like, that's like... You're choosing to take that road. Right. Exactly. Right. And so that's kind of what my challenge is talking about. Like, because like, since I started, I started about a year ago. Okay. It's going on too, actually. It's like a year and a half. And when I started it, like, I would go out sometimes and I'd get 50, 60 no's, right? And, and at first it was rough because it's like, you're dealing with people saying no, you're trying to do something, but then people are not like open to that. But then learning that in a situation like that, there's two people there and they both have to like be willing to like be open to like doing that, right? Yeah. And so that, that was something that kind of helped me out learning like, okay, people are gonna say no, but it's not about that. It's about how many people can I get to say yes? yes. And then when I get the yeses, focus on that. So that's kind of what's yeah. about. So I thank you for saying yes. Um, let's talk a little bit about reflexology and then we'll go ahead and wrap up, okay? okay. So reflexology is all about those different pressure points in your hands and in your feet, right? Those pressure points connect to different parts of your body. So like, for example, through like a massage, through like acupuncture, through acupressure, you can alleviate like stress and tension in the various parts of your body. So um, for example, if you're somebody who does with migraines, there's actually a portion of your hands and feet to massage that will like alleviate tension you feel in those moments. There's also a piercing you can get in your ear does the exact same thing. What are your thoughts about reflexology? I mean, you said you've heard a little bit about it. Yeah. What are your thoughts and how it can be effective to help people? Um, I've gone to uh, get acupuncture before. Mm -hmm. um, so that was kind of like when I started seeing, you know, like that map. Like, yep. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's kind of just the closest yep. thing I've gone to, like, reflexology. Uh -huh. um, but for during quarantine, I was, like, doing, like, washa method, like, on yeah. my neck. More like, information. More information. More, yeah. And like, there's this one stretch where you're just like sitting on your heels and your uh, toes are curled. And I've heard that one. Yeah, and it was it's it's great. It's a great posture because it's like if your feet are all stuck in, in, in your um in your shoe all day. You yeah. Know, being able to um, relax and really because I in my personal yeah. um, life I've 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 been more aware of like where I'm holding tension and so I'm like I'm sitting and then my foot uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's kind of, I mean, it's great. That, that's like, really dope. That yeah. Sometimes when you have that knowledge, it doesn't cost any money. To, exactly. You know, we don't have to, we can just do it in the comfort of our own home. Something as simple as that. And, like, yeah. that's the thing. So, when I started, like, doing this, a lot of people don't know what reflexology is, and they don't know, like, there's a way for me to be able to like help my body out in a more natural and holistic way and so i try to go out when i'm doing this and combine all three of these topics so i try to make it a good conversation so with that being said usually when we get into reflexology we like to talk about sensitivity okay how ticklish do you tend to be like if someone were to like tickle me yeah i okay. would like you know i probably feel like i was gonna die there's so, some parts like like right here yeah you know um, how like, sensitive are your feet because you kind of mentioned getting pedicures my feet? I okay. Feel like, I feel like, um, really, like, I'm the only one that kind of, like, like t knows my feet really, yeah. really well. So, like, being able to have, because it's, like, being able to take care, like, elevate your feet at the end of the day when I have a long day. Very um, important. It's just certain things that, like, that I've kind of put into my... Your own my, practice and, like, routines. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Like for them to breathe. Yeah. Um, Cause it really is what's holding you. Like it's part like it's, it's foundation. 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 Yeah, it's the foundation of like being here, like all that impact. Exactly. So really bringing awareness. To, exactly. Yeah, your feet is and having that awareness, like where you're just not like hit or there. Yeah. But, like you have a purpose. Exactly. Like, exactly. Helping you move from point A to point B. Exactly. Um, it's very important. Right? Absolutely. So in this moment, do you mind if we practice to see, like, can we test it out to see what your sensitivity is? Sure. Cool, cool. Let me have you hold that for me for one second. All right. I'm going to get my tool out real quick to you. Cool. I want you to tell me uh, where you feel it at most and which foot is most sensitive. Okay. Usually everybody has uh, one foot that's more sensitive. Okay. I'm going to get all here. Oh. <laughs> get that off. Okay. Quick. That way we can make sure we uh, yeah. test it perfectly. All right. Cool. 
So in your experiences of getting pedicures, you've never been sensitive to like no never interesting. Interesting. never and, and do you think it's more of like you said the calluses and stuff you build up over years and different yeah. things that you're doing like i'll go back to the pedicure place uh -huh. and um you know if i'm going to like a wedding or like where i'm gonna wear open toe shoes yeah i'll go get like a pedicure okay but i really won't go out of my way um, yeah I, I don't know <laughs> i just i think they're goals like for me you know okay. like they've, they've helped me throughout my life and everything every activity Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. So let's test the sensitivity. I'm going to have you okay. flex your feet up a little bit. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start with the right. Okay. Then we're going to work our way to the left. Okay. So here we go. Starting from the bottom. One, two, three. Okay. Where are you feeling it at the most? Is it here at the top, in the middle? It's usually for most people right in the middle. All right. Is it here at the bottom? Where are you feeling it at the most? Not really. You don't feel it at all? You but it's feel like, it? I don't feel any like reaction. Any stuff. reaction. Yeah. Okay. So maybe this might not be your more sensitive side. Let's test your left side. Let's see if this one is more sensitive. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Kind of relax your feet a little bit too. Don't try to like. I think it might be because you're testing up. Let's okay. let, let's see. Let's, let's see. Try it again. Let's try it again. Let's see. Is it sensitive in any particular spot or yeah. not as much? Okay. Let's try over here then. Let's see. One, two, three. Then where do you feel this at? Anywhere? All right, not at all. Yeah, right. So right yeah, in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. While I'm doing it, I want you to wiggle your toes while I'm doing it. You tell me if you feel it more or less. Let's try it here. Wiggle here. You feel it more or less? You might be one of those people say, I feel it more. No. <laughs> less? Yeah, less. Okay. You're supposed to. Let's try it here. This is the one you said you felt on more. Wiggle your toes. Okay. And is it less or more? It's a little less. It's a little less. Yeah. All right. Do you know why? Let's see if you can connect the dots. All right, so first of all, your mind, you're mentally telling your mind to like do something, right? So it's almost like a distraction because you're focused more on that. Like, let me do this, right? But also because you're like moving your toes, it moves the energy from spot to spot. So okay. while I'm doing it, it's not going to pick it up in that one particular spot. It's going to move it somewhere else. So that's kind of why. It's a little trick. So if you ever know anybody who is ticklish, okay. do that. Also, I have to mention like yeah. through my yoga practice that I've been like more incorporating like balance. Okay. Um, I did feel like my feet started to look a little different. Interesting. Like, like, like um, cause just so, cause I was barefoot for like maybe six months, like just practicing like three times a day. Like, okay. Doing a teacher training, like pretty much 260 hours. Yeah. Um, I did notice that like when I started, like my feet were like, like in shoes a lot and I was living up north, but then like I started seeing more like, Spreading out more. more. Spreading out. Interesting. More, yeah. So a lot different than what what they look like before. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. That's good. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna have you try out some exercises real quick with your feet. I want you to tell me like if you feel discomfort, any pain, anything like that while you're doing it. Okay. So let me have you uh, kind of flex your feet up a little bit, kind of relax them while you have it like that though, like kind of up, and then close together. All right. What I want you to do first: bend your toes over, make a fist. Tell me if you feel pain, discomfort, cramping. Kind of hold it. Any pain or discomfort? Any cramping? Okay, relax. All right, let me have you spread your toes. Tell me if you feel pain, discomfort, cramping. Good spread. We know that because you're a yoga instructor there. All right, relax. And then lastly, wiggle your toes for about 10 seconds. You tell me if you feel pain, any discomfort, any cramping. Sometimes people feel it after a little while while they're doing it. Does it feel pretty easy to do? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, let's wrap up the interview. Um, in terms of my approach, when I came up to you, um, what did you think my approach was like? Was it good? Was it bad? How'd you feel about it? Uh, like I've been just having like a kind of crazy morning in my head okay. kind of day. Um, but when you approached me, um, I told you I'm not good. Yeah, you were like literally <laughs> like, like, I'm like no. I, that's what came to the beach, you know? Yeah. Um, but just like how my life is going yeah. and meeting people, um, just come like you're, when you express that you're like, it connected like no, at that it, point yeah. <laughs> this person yeah yeah clearly is an advocate mental health is good that's dope <laughs> you know, so that and then i was like you know what okay that's dope and yeah, yeah you did you kind of came out of that and you were like yeah let's see what happens absolutely um, let me ask you this, in terms of the interview as a whole, right from start to finish, because you see how everything was going in a line, 
Did it make sense to you? Did you learn anything new from what I was talking about? Yeah, I learned about sensitivity. Absolutely. Yeah. Exposure therapy? Exposure therapy as well. Um, that ties into like a lot of what I do with clients. Like, yeah. Yeah. Fear, right? <laughs> yeah, like, like I, I don't even turn it on until I'm somewhere where I need to be um, because of that self control that it's just really easy for us to like react. Absolutely. When you press that pause um, and ground yourself in your like, it's just these patterns that you can actually change. That's so I, I've seen it in my own life. Likewise, man. Likewise. It's been a great conversation, yeah. discussion. Um, the last thing I always ask on my channel, right? Something from a mental health standpoint. Maybe it's a life lesson you learned, some wise words that maybe somebody shared with you that you can share on my channel that could be helpful. Don't overthink it. Just whatever comes to your mind, you're like, I'm going to leave that. <laughs> yeah, well, um, the, we were talking about yoga, all this stuff, and uh -huh. like, even like the feet. Um, the someone told me. Being mindful of that, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Like 26 too, and like, which is a type of yoga. And yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I two two of these great instructors I've learned from, and that's what I kind of carry on in my practice. That's dope, man. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. We definitely appreciate you taking the time yeah, to like just come out and do this interview with us. All right. Yeah. And we hope that you have a great one. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs>